First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. We are finding just an extraordinary air mass settling in over southern Kentucky and much of the Ohio Valley and the Tennessee Valley over the next uh, few days is just going to make you think, is this really the middle of August? It feels more like maybe the end of October, the beginning of September, but we'll take it. Look at this, 57 degrees currently in Bowling Green with the lower humidity levels. It makes that feel even just more wonderful, if you will. Live Doppler radar, of course, all clean sweep around the area, not expecting any rain at least for several more days. Let's check the temperatures now across the Kentucky Mesonet Network. And look at that 52 degrees up there in Hardensburg. You see mainly low to mid 50s off to the north, more into the mid 50s from Bowling Green, and then upper 50s to near 60 degrees near the Tennessee border this morning. All of these numbers running well below average and even close to record territory. 50, 49 actually the record low for this day. And here's the dew point temperatures. Again, this is another way we measure the amount of moisture in the air. And when you see these low 50 degree dew points, that's just a bonus air mass that's setting over the region and will stay with us uh, for a little while anyway. Live Doppler cam, sun hasn't come up quite yet, but it's just about there. And you can see just how beautiful the sky is over Bowling Green in southern Kentucky at this hour with 57 degrees, a light wind out of the north, humidity at 97%, but that'll go down as we go through the day. And the barometer rising at 30.09 as high pressure takes over. Here's a few of our AAA systems weather cams across the area. The Bowling Green Airport at 58 degrees there currently as we're looking down Scottsville Road toward I-65. Here's Glasgow seeing a clear start, temperature at 55 degrees. And up in Lynchfield in Grayson County, you're at 54, and that is your low temperature thus far this morning. Temperatures 52 Peoria, 53 in Indianapolis. 54 in Charleston, 58 here, but it's 70 in Huntsville, Alabama. So you can see pretty much where that cold front is this morning. It's right there in southern Tennessee. They still may get some showers even there because of the front later today. That 58 degrees is 15 degrees cooler than we were just 24 hours ago. And most everybody in the Ohio Valley feeling the benefits of not one, but two cold fronts that pass through. The second front uh, passing through this morning, really unnoticeable, except for the added drier air and the less humid air mass. That's going to stay here for a while and so on. Radar, things are quiet here. We could see some showers popping up in southern middle Tennessee later today. High pressure, big ridge of this. It's a Canadian high at that, and that its origins are from the... Uh, North, uh, northern provinces, if you will, of Canada. And its effects, though, being felt all the way down into the Tennessee Valley today. Tonight, we could get close to record low territory. The record low being 50 degrees, set back in 2004. Tomorrow morning, I think a few locations could see that. A few clouds working in here by Thursday night into Friday, and a little bit of moisture trying to work its way back into the uh, southern tier of the Appalachian Mountain chain, which could uh, bring us a chance of a shower by Saturday. Sunny and pleasant today, though. How about 77 with a northeast wind at 8? And then tonight, clear, cool, near record low of 52 for Bowling Green. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, another pleasant day with a high of 80, 82 for Friday. And then showers return Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and into parts of Tuesday. The rain chance each day anywhere from 30 to 40 percent, and the humidity will return along with slightly warmer temperatures into the mid-80s.